This is in response to Billy's talking points memo from uh, Wednesday, January 20, uh, 28th, 2015. Uh, is terrorism overwhelming the Obama administration? And the first thing I would like to say is, it is absolutely not, Billy. You know, you come up with a question that doesn't even need an answer. Now, so what is it that you want to say? What do you want to say that you find one lieutenant general who says that the Obama administration doesn't have a strategy? And, you know, what I would like for you to do, Billy, if you could, I know you won't do this, but if you would, you know, why don't you list how many uh, bombing missions have been done by American flyers um, uh, over uh, Syria and Iraq in the last six months? How many Tomahawk missiles have been sent? How many drones have been sent? How many anticipated, or are not anticipated, how many uh, uh, kills, let's just say, have, have we had uh, through, through, the, through that drone operation, through those missiles? How, much, how many targets, were, how many high value targets did we hit in that particular period of time? You know, you didn't rent, mention Comain just the other day. Uh, where the Peshmerga, the uh, fighting troops of the uh, 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 Kurds, took back a city in uh, northern uh, Syria near the Turkish border where the Turks wouldn't help in because of, they don't want to help the Kurds. And that uh, 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 they, and with the help of American uh, fly, um, planes, I do believe also in French, uh, they went after ISIL and got rid of them. Killed him, got him out of there. That was Cobain. And you didn't mention that at all. And I do believe very clearly that uh, Obama said six months ago when ISIS, ISIS, ISIL took over, started taking over that area, is that it would be a long period of time to do this, perhaps several years, but we would not put boots on the ground. Perhaps you would also uh, be willing to list how many American soldiers uh, would have died had uh, we had put boots on the ground. Uh, do we need better information? Yes. Should we be doing a little bit more? Eh, I don't really know. Do we have a strategy? Yes. Do we have tactics? Yes. Are we implementing that strategy? Yes, we are. Are we implementing those tactics? Yes, we are. Uh, is it in line with the fact that we are not going to put boots on the ground? Uh, we can only rely on the Turks for so much. We can only rely on the Iraqi army for so much. Uh, we know that uh, ISIL has nothing to do with Iran, even though you want to conflate the two. But, so let's get back to uh, your strategy, because you want to blame Iran for the whole thing, because then you go into that uh, some senators are going to want to pass some legislation, which even you said they shouldn't pass until after June, after the talks have gone on. Remember, these talks have been going on for years. Sanctions have been on Iran for a number of years. Uh, they're hurting. Uh, oil is way down. I see again, it's get down again today. Uh, they tr we trade oil in dollars, uh, and they can't use dollars. So they're hurting. And uh, are they still exporting, uh, exporting terrorism? Of course they are. They're still working with Hezbollah and Hamas. Yes, they are. Is Iran a great player? No, they're not the greatest player in that particular area. Uh, I love the Iranian people. I've worked for uh, one. I have dealt with many, many. Uh, they uh, would love to go back to their country, uh, but unfortunately it's being run just like Saudi, well, so like Saudi Arabia is being run uh, by religious uh, fanatics, so to speak, and uh, they don't see a future that way. But to get back to uh, the Iranians, uh, but we need to, uh, need to continue to keep the pressure. Uh, they are not in any way, shape, or form even remotely close to getting an atomic bomb. Uh, and uh, we have indicated very clearly uh, that we will not let them get an atomic bomb. Uh, and uh, they, this will be ongoing past the Obama administration. So uh, the fact that some, some senators want to put more pressure on only you know, is an indicator that they want to see the results, uh, probably because they have an election that's going to come up. So, you know, again, you go in, you know, the uh, Iranians think Obama's a weak leader, no question, of course, of co but of course not. Uh, because again, the sanctions are hurting them. Their banking system is not doing well. Their GDP has gone down. They're in, you know, so uh, uh, things are not going as great in Iran as, uh, as uh, you, you might want to put, Billy. 
And it's not because, and, and Obama is, it's not, has nothing to do with being a weak leader. He's being strong, he's being forceful, he's being resilient, and he's also being patient. You know, patience is a virtue, especially in negotiations, because they will see as time goes on, it's not worth their effort to continue to do this. Now, the, the last half of your segment, I don't know why you got into it, you got into the Bo Bergdahl thing. Uh, it's basically indicating that there's being pressure on the United, by the White House uh, on down to uh, uh, let this guy go scot-free. Actually, you didn't really say it like that, but uh, my particular point is, is Bergdahl is a very, very small player. Uh, hopefully, um, I don't know what he really deserves. Um, uh, it's a very, very difficult situation. Uh, uh, someone leaving uh, a post in Afghanistan at that particular point in time as to what was really going on uh, there's something had to have been really, really wrong with his mental capacity because he would have, uh, any other person would have surely known that they would have been killed, absolutely killed, probably tortured. The fact that they kept him alive, I think, is only because, well, I don't know why they kept him alive. Maybe because he was unarmed and they saw a value in him, but they kept him for five years and apparently they torched him for a long period of time. Uh, so there's a lot of things going on in all this. I know you want to put it into a, a black and white issue, a good and bad issue, a right and wrong issue. You know, that he was wrong, he put others in danger, uh, etc. But it's a tad bit more nuanced than that. And, um, and I don't know exactly what the answer is. Uh, I don't know if there has been a lot of pressure or a nominal amount of pressure. There are political situations that go on in the military all the time. And remember, the military wants to keep the White House happy. They want to keep people in Congress happy because they want that money to keep coming in too. So, you know, they're not necessarily playing about it. And, you know, uh, uh, the Bergdahl thing, yes, we did trade him, and hopefully those, those, those who we traded will not be going back into the war. We don't know. That's, that's, that, is, that is the price that we paid for that, and we will have to live with that, all right? But uh, uh, in terms of the greater aspect of the war, you know, I don't know how big those players were that we traded back. Uh, uh, you know, we're still bombing people in, in uh, 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 Afghanistan. We're probably still bombing people in, uh, uh, in Pakistan. Uh, and Ber this Bergdahl thing is a very, very uh, minor issue. So I don't know why you want to keep bringing it up. But again, you put a human element into it. You bring a right and wrong element. You bring a good and evil element into it. Uh, and then you can st stick it to the White House, etc. But again, you know, there's a strategy. There's, there are tactics, they're being implemented, they're being refined, they're being analyzed. There are thousands of people working on this in the military and uh, those who are in the military industrial complex uh, in terms of what's going on with ISIL, in terms of what's going on with Iran, in terms of what's going on in Iraq. Uh, remember, we have to retrain the army because they, they split and run when ISIL showed up in Mosul and in those other, other cities. Uh, and uh, allegiances, uh, as, we, as we have come to see, can come and go very, very quickly in the Middle East. They're not, you know, their, their way of doing things is completely different than our way of doing things. And we're finding that out the hard way. But Bush went in there, he didn't even know that there was, the, 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 that, there was that much of a difference between Shia and Sunni. So, uh, just to, to, to came, uh, the, the, the Obama administration is not overwhelmed in any way, shape, or form in terms of what's going on there. They have a plan, they have a strategy, they're implementing it. There are also a tremendous number of things that require a tremendous amount of equal attention in the administration in terms of minimum wage, in terms of global climate change, in terms of the environment, in terms of jobs, in terms of infrastructure development. You know, there's a lot of things going on. And in terms of the Affordable Care Act, in terms of health. So, you know, those things are really what they take or should be taking precedence from you, Billy, because those are the things that will help your audience. Uh, keeping them scared, I know it's your job, but maybe it's time to start refining, you know, having a different tactic of your own.